Hello everyone, I am Yejin Lee from Seoul National University presenting ANA Specialized Architecture for Approximate Nearest Neighbor Search. This work is done with my colleagues at Seoul National University under the advisement of Jay Lee and Tae Jun Ha. Nearest Neighbor Search, also known as Similar Research, has been a key kernel for primary applications such as recommended systems used at YouTube or Netflix, and click-through rate prediction models used by major industries. It is also used for a conventional search engine and other multimedia search services. Today, a variety of modern algorithms and a neural network models represent an entity such as image or video or word as a learned high-dimensional vector called embedding. With such embeddings, nearest neighbor search is the task of finding a set of embeddings that are the most similar to the query embedding. In nearest neighbor search, there are two most commonly used similarity metrics. First one is inner product. Inner product similarity is defined as the dot product of two vectors. The vector with the largest inner product value becomes the most similar vector to the query cube. Second one is L2 distance. L2 distance similarity is defined as negative of the sum of squared value of each dimension's difference. When the data set size becomes bigger than billion scale, it is not feasible to inspect all database vectors every time a query arrives. Thus, many existing popular nearest neighbor search libraries from major companies implement approximate nearest neighbor search. Approximate nearest neighbor search requires much less computation and memory assesses at the expense of slight reduction in search accuracy. There are various approaches in approximate nearest neighbor search. Among them, compression-based approach is the most popular choice since it compresses the original database vectors so that it can fit necessary data in the main memory, even with a billion scale data set. Also, this approach utilizes efficient index structure, thus it requires much less memory and computation. We performed in-depth analysis of compression-based approach on conventional hardwares, and unfortunately, we found that it cannot exploit the best of them. On CPUs, first, we found that same data is being loaded from the memory redundantly across different queries. This incurs unnecessary extra memory assesses and consumes a large amount of system memory bandwidth. Second, compression-based games often use sub-byte data type for compressed data. However, since CPU does not support arbitrary sub-byte data types, it continuously uses shift instructions to process them and this ends up incurring extra energy overhead and degradation in throughput. For GPUs, we observe that compression-based games require relatively large amount of shared memory per block, and this requirement limits the number of thread blocks scheduled on SM, thus reducing parallelism degree of GPU. Also, low arithmetic intensity nature of compression-based game results in underutilization of GPU resource. To overcome these limitations, we present ANA, a specialized hardware for billion-scale compression-based approach, which flexibly supports various algorithms and configurations. ANA is carefully designed to support highly optimized data path and data communication, scalable extensions for throughput improvement, and fine-grained pipelining and memory traffic optimization. Many popular billion-scale similarity search implementation adopts two-level product quantization scheme, which helps to substantially reduce the number of database vectors to inspect. Before conducting search process, Encoding process is first performed to represent each database vector into a compressed form. First, database vectors are first grouped into multiple clusters using clustering algorithms such as k-means clustering. 
Once it's done, for each database vector in each cluster, it computes the residual vector which is obtained by subtracting the corresponding central vector from each database vector. Then, residual vector Rx is encoded into the simple identifiers. Now, let's look at how this residual vector is encoded. For a d-dimensional residual vector x, we split it into m sub-vectors. So in this example, we assume m is 3, so we split the vector into 3 sub-vectors, each with 2 dimensions. Then, product quantization utilizes a set of codebooks to encode each sub-vector. There are m codebooks, and each codebook has k star codewords. Each sub-vector Rix is encoded into an identifier using corresponding codebook. Given three codebooks, it computes the similarity between a sub-vector Rix and each code word in the corresponding codebook Bi. This is the result, and now we choose the code word with the highest similarity for each sub-vector. Subvector R0x selects row 0 in codebook B0. Subvector R1x selects row 2 in codebook B1. And subvector R2x selects row 1 in codebook B2. So now we represent vector Rx as concatenation of index in each codebook, which is 0, 2, 1 in this example. It took 2D bytes to represent the original vector Rx. But now it takes much smaller bytes to represent vector Rx prime since it is represented with m identifiers, each with log 2 k star bits. In this example, number of bytes to represent vector Rx reduces from 12 bytes to less than 1 byte. With these encoded vectors, two-level product quantization now performs search process for the given query Q. In this process, similarity for inner product metric is approximated as shown here. And for L to distance metric, similarity is approximated as shown here. Thus, the goal of the search process is to compute this equation for each encoded vectors and find the most top k similar vectors for a given query q. Now, let's look into how search process is performed. Given a query vector q, the first step of the search process is cluster filtering. In this step, it computes the similarity between the query q and all centroids and then find the W most similar centroids. In this example, centroid 0 and 2 are selected as the most similar centroids. And now we call the set of selected centroids as W. In layer search process, we only inspect encoded vectors in the selected clusters. Thus, cluster filtering step coarsely filters out encoded vectors that are unlikely to be similar to the given query. So it can significantly reduce the amount of encoded vectors to inspect. Before we move on to computing similarities, if we take a closer look into the equation from the previous slide, we can realize that no matter what or how many vector x arrives, the similarity value is computed by the similarity between the query-related sub-vectors and code words. In other words, for a given query Q, if we pre-compute the underlying terms and store them in the lookup table, all we need to do is retrieve m values from the lookup table and sum them up. Thus, computing a similarity is now replaced with m lookups and m-1 additions. So the next step is lookup table construction. And now we are going to show how the lookup table is constructed. In case of inner product similarity, again, the similarity equation looks like this, and contents of the lookup tables are the highlighted terms. In case of L2 distance, the similarity equation looks like this, and the contents of the lookup tables are the highlighted terms. We go through a simple example of constructing lookup table in case of L2 distance. 
first we subtract centroid value from the query vector and then we compute L2 distance for the lookup table as shown in the slide. Then in step 3, it computes similarity for the encoded vectors in the selected cluster. This process only requires retrieving values from the lookup table and summing them up. Since we are processing cluster 0, we compute similarities for all encoded vectors in cluster 0. For first encoded vector, which is 1, 2, and 1, we retrieve values from the lookup table utilizing each identifier as an address. For the rest of the encoded vectors, it repeats the same process like this. Once processing cluster 0 is done, Step 2 and 3 is repeated for all vectors in other clusters in W. Last step is selecting top k most similar encoded vectors in the selected clusters. In this example, if we assume selecting top two most similar vectors, then the answer will be two vectors having approximate similarity minus 39 and minus 45. Unfortunately, this two-level product quantization search cannot exploit the best of CPUs and GPUs. Thus, we present Anna, approximate nearest neighbor search accelerator that can accelerate modern billion-scale ANNS algorithms from Meta and Google. Our accelerator substantially improved throughput and energy efficiency while flexibly supporting various search configurations. ANA consists of three modules called Cluster Codebook Processing Module, Encoding Vector Fetch Module, and Similarity Computation Module. To support Step 1, Cluster Codebook Processing Module is utilized. First, Memory Reader reads centroid vectors in a streaming manner. And these centroid vectors and query are passed to compute units to compute the similarity. Finally, the computed similarities are passed to the top K selection unit and this unit finally selects top W most similar clusters to the query. CPM module also performs step 2 of the search process. First, code words that are stored in the codebook SRAM are fetched and passed to the compute units. And only for L2 distance, CPM performs extra subtraction operation. Then, compute units compute the contents for the lookup table and pass them to the lookup table SRAMs in SCM. For step 3, EFM module first gets the information about the selected clusters from the memory and loads encoded vectors within the selected cluster. Encoded vectors are unpacked and buffered in encoded vector buffer. Then SEM module reads encoded identifiers from the encoded vector buffer and then use those identifiers as addresses to retrieve specific data in the lookup table. The loaded values are fed to the reduction unit which computes the reduction outcome. And for inner product, additional term computed from top case selection module in CPM is added to the final outcome. Computer similarity and the ID of encoded vector are passed to the top K selection unit. This process is repeated for all encoded vectors in the selected clusters. Once it's done, the final top K selected result is stored in the memory as the search outcome for the given query. Additionally, we present an optimization scheme that can significantly reduce the memory traffic consumption of ANA on batched similarity search scenarios. The key idea is to reuse the encoded vectors across multiple queries. We assume there are three centroids and four queries are given like this. Without optimization, ANA will process query 0 first, thus it will identify a set of selected clusters W for query 0 then it will load encoded vectors in cluster 1 and 2 sequentially. Then it will process query 1, 
and then query two, and then query three like this. You can see that encoded vectors are redundantly loaded from the memory. However, with memory traffic optimization, Anna will first identify set W404 queries. Then, for each cluster, it identifies what queries visit that cluster. Now, each cluster is processed in series starting with cluster 0, and then cluster 1, and then cluster 2. In this way, we can see that encoded vectors loaded from the memory are reused across different queries, thus removing redundant load from the memory. We evaluate on six representative similar research datasets, including both million and billion scale. We choose two representative PQ-based methods, FICE from Meta and SCAN from Google. We choose two evaluation platforms. One is 8-core Intel server, and the other is NVIDIA V100 GPU. This graph shows the throughput comparison between ANA and software baselines. X-axis is recall and Y-axis represents the queries processed per second in a log scale. Solid line with X mark in the graph is Anna's throughput. Upper six graphs shows the result of 4 to 1 compression ratio, meaning that the main memory needs to hold one fourth of the original data size. And the lower six graphs show the result for 8 to 1 compression ratio, and as you can see, Anna achieved substantial speed up over CPU and GPU implementations across varying recalls. This result compares the average latency of processing a single query between Anna and the other workloads. Anna achieves high recall at sub millisecond latency in billion scale datasets. Overall, ANA achieves over 24 times latency improvements across all configurations. Left table reports ANA accelerator area and peak power usage. ANA is 151 times smaller than CPU die size and 517 times smaller than GPU die size. Right graph shows energy efficiency comparison between ANA accelerator and corresponding CPU GPU implementations. ANA achieves orders of magnitude energy efficiency improvements over both CPU and GPU. Thanks for watching the video. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you.